friends, Bishop Andy C. Luter here, and I want to welcome you to another one of my weekly inspirational moments. My inspirational moment for this week comes from the city of Asheville, North Carolina, where I am conducting a three-night revival. On that note, let me give a quick shout out to Bishop Lionel Smith of the Greater New Zion Baptist Church of the city, along with uh, Dr. John Grant, who is the pastor of the New Mount Zion. I'm sorry, he is the pastor of the Mount Zion Baptist Church of Asheville, North Carolina. They have been wonderful hosts, and I've enjoyed myself here immensely. During my stay, my host took me to the Biltmore Estates. This is the largest private residence in all of the United States. It boasts and brag over 250 rooms, over 100 bedrooms, 43 bathrooms. It is on a parcel of land with thousands of acres. During my visit, I was so thoroughly impressed with the library in the Biltmore Mansion. And on the ceiling of the library is this impressive painting of the chariots of Aurora. Now, according to Greek mythology, Aurora every day would part the skies on a chariot of clouds, opening the skies so that the brother of Aurora, which was the sun, could bring light to a dark world. I'm impressed by that uh, Greek mythology. As a Christian, however, I want to remind us all that it is the Holy Spirit that wakes up every morning, crosses the sky of our consciousness, and then brings the light of the sun, not S-U-N, but the sun light, S-O-N, of Jesus Christ into our lives. Beloved, greet each and every day with the excitement, the passion, and the knowledge that the light of the Son of God is shining brightly in your life. Well, friends, that takes up just about all of my time, and I want to thank you for yours. I am Bishop Andy C. Luter, and this has been my weekly inspirational moment, and I so look forward to sharing with you again next week. God bless.